The main story of New Horizons is about getting this deserted island built up and beautiful enough for KK Slider to deem worthy of a concert. The game does a good job at walking you through the basics, but leaves you to fend for yourself to achieve the three star island necessary for KK. There are some requirements to get yourself to three stars. First, you need the upgraded resident services building. Once you get this, Isabelle is your girl for island evaluations, and you can't see if you've gotten three stars without her. This game is really good at walking you through the first few days to get the building, so make sure you talk to Nook and do everything he says. Once you get Isabelle, she'll give you some hints as to what needs to be improved on your island. At this point, you really don't have too much else to do except try and get those three stars. So get to work. You feel like you've been placing furniture outside and decorating like crazy, but you're still stuck at the one or two stars and can't seem to get further. What's the deal? How do you get those three stars? The star rating is based off two categories, island scenery and island development. Island scenery consists of decorations like flowers, trees, and bushes, while development consists of buildings like the museum, Nook's Crane, and Able Sisters, furniture, both purchased and DIY are required, structures like bridges and inclines. To achieve a three-star island, you need to reach at least 160 points in development and 270 points in scenery. All these numbers come from the wiki. I'm not going to list out every possibility, so if you want to check them all out for yourself, I'll link it in the description. Your island evaluation is updated in real time. You can constantly check with Isabel and she'll change her advice as you work. You can go from one star to three stars in one day if you try hard enough. First, scenery. Every tree you plant is worth one point and bushes are worth half a point. Together, the sum of these can't exceed 190 points. So if you place too many trees, at some point the island will stop counting them because you have reached your limit. Adult flowers are worth one point each. When experimenting in an earlier video, I tried planting the same flower everywhere but I was struggling to increase my rating, so I tried planting other colors and varieties of flowers. Lo and behold, my rating increased almost immediately. Variety is important when placing scenery. Everything must be spread across your island. You cannot cramp all your trees in one spot. They need to breathe, dang it, give them space. Island development. Get as many buildings as you can. Museum, Nook's Cranny, Able Sisters, all of it. Each of these are worth 15 points. Build as many bridges and inclines that you can afford as well. These are also worth 15 points each. Keep in mind, your island only allows you to place eight bridges and eight inclines. Think about where you want to put them before placing them so you don't have to spend a ton of bells moving them around later. Furniture is calculated based on a block, which is an eight by eight square. How the furniture gives you points is probably the most complicated math out of everything to calculate when trying to increase your star rating. So instead of throwing that in your face, I'll let you know that the more unique furniture you place in that block, the better. Vary your furniture and place it all around your island. You'll meet this requirement pretty quickly. If you have a bunch of the same furniture item in the same block, those items will end up costing you points. Six or more will cost you half a point per item, and with 11 or more, the extra copies will cost you 0.75 points per item. You'll need to place both DIY furniture as well as purchased furniture. The items you craft follow the same criteria as the regular furniture that I just mentioned. You'll get more points if the furniture you place is recommended for outside, and how expensive it is. For example, anything worth 20,000 bells would get you double the points for that piece of furniture. Having a ton of weeds around your island doesn't hurt your score, but having less than 100 weeds can help. You'll get an additional 30 development points if you clean up those weeds. Anything past 100 weeds still gets you a bonus, it's just not as many points as cleaning up your island. Finally, villagers. We had a total of 8 animal villagers on our island when we achieved the 3 star rating. The more you have, the better. There's a development bonus of 15 points if you have 9 villagers, and a bonus of 30 points for 10 villagers. Go ahead and do that island hopping. Go look for your dreamy, it only helps. Make sure you don't have any dropped items around your island. 15 or more of these results in a penalty and Isabel saying you have too many items lying around. Dropped items that occur naturally on the island, like branches, stones, shells, and bottles, don't count towards this. You can have those around without it negatively affecting your rating. Supposedly, you can drop the other items on top of placed furniture and it won't change your score. I haven't tested this myself, so if you do have fun dropping random items like a stack of wood on other decorations and you're struggling to increase your rating, try picking these up and continue from there. Another issue Isabel can bring up is not being able to freely move around your island. If you have too many items covering the ground, that will bring your rating down. If you have 45 or more tiles filled with furniture in a block, 64 total tiles make up one block, then it's considered cluttered. Basically, make sure you can move about your island easily. Buildings, bridges, and inclines do not count towards the clutter. The last thing Isabel can tell you is that there is an overabundance of trees or people getting lost in the woods. Chop down some trees. You have too many and your villagers can't find their way home, poor guys. Once you get KK Slider to perform, congratulations, you've beaten the game! <laughs> just kidding. He'll appear every Saturday night from then on to perform for you. Once you finally unlock terraforming, you'll have to spend a total of 28,300 nook miles to unlock everything. These are totally worth it, so save up your miles now. 
If you follow all of these guidelines correctly, you'll achieve three stars and eventually five stars in no time. Have fun decorating and exploring your island. Making the island your own is what this game is all about. What's your favorite KK song? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi, Future Drew.